Howdy, and welcome to the ninth edition of the Texas Bucket List Christmas Special, a chance for us to showcase some holiday stops across the Lone Star State. This year, we start things off in South Texas at a holy shrine. Our Lady of San Juan de Valle has been a big part of South Texas for many years, and no matter what time of year you see it, the shrine shines. But during the holiday season, it shines extremely bright. So we decided to head on south to celebrate the true reason for the season. The Rio Grande Valley is a massive mix of two cultures, but one of the many things that brings them together is faith. That's why the Basilica of Our Lady of San Juan del Valle is such a hot spot on the border. We're proud that we have it in Texas. Father Jorge Gomez knows this church well, but he also knows what we usually come down to the valley for. People in the valley are friendly, you know, and our food is the best in Texas. <laughs> Jorge was ordained here in 2004. It is a special place for me. What called you to this? That's a question I've never been able to answer. When I was 14, I wanted to get married and have a bunch of kids, and then at, I went to the seminary at 16. I went to high school seminary. And then my dad go, said, uh, go, and you'll be back in a month. <laughs> it's gonna be almost 30 years and I'm still here. <laughs> Our Lady of San Juan del Valle is the second most visited shrine in the United States, only behind the National Shrine in Washington, D.C. Each get over one million visitors a year. And considering the population of the valley is 1.3 million, that's pretty impressive. The basilica is geographically the center of the diocese. So people come from all over the diocese here to pray, to lead a candle. Uh, whenever they're going to go into surgery, people come and pray to Our Lady of San Juan. You can see people walking on their knees from the entrance to all the way to the altar or through the back. It is just amazing. We're walking into a sacred place. Sacred place. A lot of people come here with their faith and their devotion with their candles to pray to Our Lady of San Juan. The reason this shrine is so sought after is part of this miraculous story. I think the popularity of it grew with the plane crashing on the, on, on the old shrine. On October 23, 1970, during a special mass with 50 priests, 50 parishioners, and 100 school children in an adjacent cafeteria, a plane crashed into the shrine and it exploded into flames. While the church was destroyed, the only fatality that day was the pilot. Whenever they want to destroy the faith, they do something and then the faith grows stronger. It just happened that it made it into the New York Times and people found out and people started coming more and more and they saw what they call the miracle, you know, that the statue of Our, of our Lady of San Juan was salvaged from the fire and the Blessed Sacrament. and. That made the devotion grow in the, in the valley. The new shrine opened in 1980, and while it's beautiful year-round, Christmas truly brings the holiday season to life. And yes, the church has a gift shop if you need something for that special someone. That's a gift shop. Yeah, this is big. <laughs> the biggest seller here is candles, because here, lighting a candle is a prayer, and to pray is what people come here for. Uh, we usually get uh, 10,000 candles a week. A week, a week. The faith of the people evangelizes me. I'm here as a priest, no? <laughs> I'm supposed to be the one evangelizing the people, but no. And when I see them praying on their knees with a candle on their hand, I always say that candle has something special, you know, because it, it is a prayer, it is a thanksgiving, it is a petition, it is a family praying there. It's a lot of meaning. Here we're walking into the candle room wow. from the altar. You bring all the candles in here until they extinguish, extinguish on their own. On Sundays, this gets full. <laughs> wow. so, yeah, but this is all the candles we, we got today. We have candles to St. Jude, Our Lady of Guadalupe, Our Lady of San Juan. St. Joseph is very popular. Holy Week or Christmas, we get more candles than the one we can put in the candle room. The gentle flicker of each flame is a radiant reminder of why religion brings us together. In the end, we all want the same thing for friends and loved ones to live healthy, happy lives, to end suffering and sadness, for goodness to triumph over evil. I think that's the beauty of this place. People leave and they go back home different than the way they came, because there is hope. And our hope is not in ourselves, not in human knowledge or human science, it's too, too little. Our hope is in, in Christ and in the resurrection of Christ. Every Catholic or non-Catholic should come to the Basilica to experience God's love and mercy. Uh, it's not the only place they can experience it, but it is 
a special place. Has being a priest everything you expected it to be? And more. <laughs> and I want to tell the people that if I were born again, I would be a priest again. And I, in a, if I had the opportunity to choose where, I would be a priest in the valley again. It's, it's a beautiful place to, to be. Mm -hmm.